Today we're gonna tap the keg. This is my Belgian style white ale that I've brewed. I'll link that in the description of this video, but basically it is time to go ahead and draw some off of this keg and give it a taste here. So this has been carbonating for, let's see, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So about 72 hours it has been carbonating. I force carbonated it for two days at 30 PSI and then this morning about eight hours ago I disconnected everything and I put just the keg in the refrigerator and it's nice and cold here so I'm going to go ahead and tap it here I got it hooked back up to the CO2 I've got the CO2 at about 8 PSI right now I'm actually going to turn that down a little bit and it might foam up a little bit for a couple reasons and we'll see what it does here when I go ahead and draw some off here so yeah, it's a little foamy. A little foamy, he says. It's a lot foamy. So it can be foamy for a couple different reasons. We could be getting a little air in here. Also, this tube is warm. So when you get warm, the CO2 expands, and so that could be making it foam up a little bit. Doesn't mean anything's wrong here. There's just some circumstances that could make your beer foam when it comes out of the keg. Uh, especially in this situation, I'm gonna assume it's the warm tube here. What I should have done is left the tube in the uh, fridge with it as well. So that's what it looks like. I did not filter this beer, so it's very cloudy. Uh, it's like your um, IPA standard there. It's not an IPA, but your um, hazy IPA or something like that. Oh yeah. So it's got a good nose to it. Smells really good. I think it's going to be nicely carbonated. I can't wait any longer here, so I'm going to give it a try. Oh, that is absolutely fantastic. Highly recommended. So this is a Belgian style white ale. I made it with sorghum as the malt. You could just use a, a traditional um, malt on this one. I did an extract and then I used an ounce of hops, um, tetninger, which are a low alpha acid hop, and then I used lime peel. So this tastes very similar to a beer with a lime in it. So, you know, sitting on the beach having a Corona and lime, however, this is much better than Corona. Corona is a little bit, I'm not a, a huge fan of the um, Pilsner, Pilsner Mexican style ales. So there you go. Let's have another glass here. Let's fill it up. I know I haven't even drank half of it yet. So let's see if the foam has settled down a little bit. A little trick you can try here. Let me turn it down even more on the CO2 to take even more out. Let's see how that, if that helps. Yeah. So that helped a little bit there. But it's nicely carbonated, the flavor's good. And here we are drinking beer. After about 72 hours using the keg, instead of bottling, you've gotta wait a whole two weeks for that yeast to create the carbonation. So I definitely highly recommend force carbonating and using these mini kegs. I've got tons of videos on how to use these. Search through my videos, see how to use these mini kegs, and then I'll keep producing more videos like this. Again, my name is Drew. So if you'd like to check back in and see more videos on DIY, home projects, how to brew beer, stuff of that nature, please feel free to check back in. I'll see you later.